Hi, I'm Murray from Scooter Central. Today we're going to talk about rainwear and the basics of keeping the weather out and keeping you dry. So here are the fundamentals we're going to concentrate on today. A good pair of gloves, a pair of wet weather overpants and a good solid jacket. So let's have a look at gloves. Now if you live in the northern states you might have one pair of summer gloves and to be honest it might last you the whole year. Sure they're going to get wet from time to time but they probably dry out overnight and they'll last you for the full 12 month cycle. Having said that, if you live in the southern states like I do, it's a completely different deal altogether. You'll have to get yourself a pair of summer gloves and a pair of winter gloves. And traditionally, we try to get a pair of winter gloves with something like this where it's got an inner membrane. It's going to keep your hands dry and it's going to stop that terrible wind chill. Okay, so here's the best money you can spend when it comes to wet weather gear, a pair of wet weather overpants. Now, it's not a fashion parade, remember, by the way. The big trick with wet weather overpants is you should be able to fit your feet straight through it with your shoes on. Ones that are lined are better than ones that are unlined because it makes it a more slidey affair. You can slide your shoes straight in there. And you'll notice, as I was saying, not a fashion parade, these are big. They're going to fit straight over the top of my jeans, my shoes, the whole absolute lot. The other thing to consider too, I was watching the Formula One the other night and they can do a pit stop in 3.8 seconds or something rather. Well, for me, it's really important I can get my pants on that fast too, because if you get a sudden shower, you want to be able to get these on really quickly. Here's the best bit. When you finish with them, a lot of us have got top boxes and plenty of under seat storage. Roll them up, stick them under your seat, and let them live there 24 seven. Now looking at jackets, probably the most important form of protection apart from your helmet is your jacket. Keep in mind, on a scoot, the top half of your body is generally exposed, and it is going to get more of the weather than your legs will. Also keeping in mind, if you're a regular commuter, I can thoroughly recommend putting your hand in your pocket and buying two jackets. One for the summer and one for winter or wet weather. The other thing to consider too, if you do only have one jacket, especially if it's a summer jacket, don't be shy but to buy a top and bottom wet weather set. Obviously if it just sprinkles you're not going to worry, you'll just put the pants on and leave the jacket as it is. But if it pours down, you're going to put on the top half as well. Jackets like this one have a waterproof outer membrane and they have a removable inner liner for warmth. So there are some of the basic tips to keep you dry in wet weather. Now there are also other products in the market that can help you out on a wet weather day. Some popular ones, throat coat, a neck sock, inner gloves, keep your hands nice and warm, and wet weather over boots if you're worried about getting your feet wet. The other one that's also very popular, especially in Europe at the moment, is the lap blanket. Okay, so today we've had a look at the basics, jacket, over pants and gloves. But you know what, there's lots of Mother's Days, Father's Days, birthdays over the next few years where you can add to your armory and have an even more enjoyable experience when you're riding a scoot in wet weather. I'll see you next time.